a fable, Pop, please. Huh, Pop? Tell me a fable, please. I thought you didn't like to hear my fables. Oh, but I do. They're so inimitable. I mean, other kids' fathers do such dull things like building bridges, practicing law or medicine, making great scientific discoveries. But you, Pop, will go down in history as... Uh, uh, yes, Junior? Superfluous. Uh, well, thank you, Junior. That was nice of you to say that. Inimitably superfluous. That has a nice ring to it. You really have a way with words, Junior. Well, the title of today's fable is The Hen and the Cat. Inimitably superfluous. Oh, by George. <laughs> uh, well, it seems that in a certain barnyard, there was a chicken who was allergic. Just allergic to cats. I react perfectly normal to all other things. You might think a simple solution would be just to stay away from cats, but I can't. At least one, Tom. You see, well... <laughs> Tom and I are in love. That is the craziest thing I ever heard. A chicken in love with a cat. If there's one thing I cannot stand, it's a bigot chicken. Florence and me were made for each other. <coughs> she, and just as soon as she gets over those sneezing fits, we're going to be married. But, Tom, it seems so... <coughs> hopeless. You're right, honey, it's in the first place, Florence is a chicken. She scratches around the pen, cackles, lays eggs, and like that. You're a cat. You can't do any of those things. Uh, yes, I can. Okay, smart guy. Let's see you lay an egg. Uh, you're forgetting something, aren't you? What's that? I'm a tom cat. Right, and Florence is a chicken. Besides, she's allergic to you. Don't you listen to her, Florence. Love will find a way. <laughs> Mm, Florence tried everything, diets, pills, but nothing seemed to help. Every time Tom came around... It's no use, Tom. Our love is not meant to be. Go. I want to remember you always as you are now. Don't say that, Florence. Keep a stiff upper beak. I've got a surefire plan. Oh, Tom, really? Oh, it's all right, Tom. I stopped. It. There, you see. <laughs> I wonder if his plan really will work. So there it is, oh great wizard. Every time I come on the scene, it's Sneeze City. It's enough to make a grown cat cry. No, oh, help me, great wizard owl. Help me in my hour of need. Now leave me to get this straight. You are a cat, right? Right. You were in love with a chicken. Well, it's a wonder you both aren't allergic, but I'll tell you what I'll do. You take this magic potion patent applied for, and at the stroke of 12, drink it down. Oh, I will, I will. Thank you, great wizard. Thank you. They said it couldn't be done. No oh, boy. At last, Florence and I shall be wed. And so, a short time later... Flo, baby, my troubles are over. I know, Tom. Isn't it wonderful? Uh, how do you know? Well, I've got so much to tell you, Tom, but it will have to wait because it's 12 o'clock. Did you say 12 o'clock? Yes. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Now, what did you want to tell me, Florence? Well... Somehow it doesn't seem important now. I mean, what could I possibly have to say to a stupid chicken? In fact, I don't know what I'm doing in this ridiculous chicken coop in the first place. Why didn't you tell me you gave Florence a magic potion, too? You didn't ask me. Actually, everything has worked out for the best. You see, Florence wasn't in love with you. It was just the idea of your being a cat. You see, Florence was really allergic to chickens. That's why she was sick. She was a sick, sick chick. Now that she is a cat herself, she no longer has the allergy, clear? But what about me? Well, well, look about you, Tom. <laughs> you mean... They're all yours, Tom. You are king of the roost. <laughs> Here I am, girls. So, as it turned out, Florence, who was a chicken, really wanted to be a cat. And Tom, who was a cat, always wanted to be a chicken. So it all worked out for the best. Tom, rise and shine. It's time to wake up the world. <laughs> well, Pop, you've certainly outdone yourself this time. That was rather superfluous, wasn't it? I'd say that was the most super superfluous story I've ever heard. And the moral, Junior? Moral. At night, all cats are gray. Unless, of course, they're chickens. Yes, and that's a superfluous moral if I ever heard one.
Thank <laughs> you.